This is Asani Ena and you are watching APM Northeast. The Naga People's Front and PF on 31st January informed to offer invitation to the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party and DPP led Chief Minister Nipuru government and his colleagues to come together as there is an aspiration among all the Naga family that NPF and NDPP should unite. This resolution was made after the NPF Working Committee held a meeting with its members and later announced that the media person by Party Secretary General Achumbe Mokikon. However, when asked about what coming together meant, Kikon prefers not to go in detail and choose to remain ambiguous as refused to explain if it meant that the two parties would see some kind of merge. Meanwhile, Kikon said that with the emergence of the Manipur general election, the NPF received as many as 40 applications seeking tickets. Thereby, after thorough deliberations, the party has shortlisted 10 candidates to award the NPF ticket to the forthcoming Manipur election 2022. Kigong added that the process of selection was extensively studied and was carried out by way of conducting party functionaries, civil society, well wishes, following which a recommendation was put forward to the central party office. It is mentioned that the party will officially hand out its ticket to the candidate on 2nd February at the state capital. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman during the Union Budget Session 2022 has made a key announcement pertaining to the Northeast. She informed that the centre will implement Prime Minister Narendra Modi's development in initiative for the Northeast through the North Eastern Council. A sum of rupees 1500 crores will be allocated to fund infrastructure in the spirit of PM Gati Sakti and social development projects based on the needs of the Northeast. Sitaraman believed that this will enable livelihood activities for youth and women, filling the gap in various sectors. She also said that villages on the northern border of India will be covered under a new vibrant village program to enhance development. During her address, she also highlighted the four focus points. PM Gati Sakti mission, inclusive development, increasing productivity, and financial investment. She remarked that PM Gati Sakti is a transformative approach to economic growth and sustainable development. She said that it will not only be a substitute to existing central or state scheme, and while the central ministers can post a candidate project, Priority will be given to those posted by the state. 